Elif, um, thank you so much for doing this and coming along. First of all, as the best-selling female author in Turkey and uh, someone who's written extensively on women's rights in your many novels, how do you see the state of gender equality in Turkey at the moment? Well, I have to say I am I'm worried about so many things. Turkey is a very complicated, multi-layered country. It's not easy to summarize. It's not easy to categorize it. So um, lots of things positive and negative can happen at the same time. Um, it is a very patriarchal, male-dominated country. And that said, there are many Turkish and Kurdish women who are incredibly visible, vocal in many areas, arts, academia, medicine, you know, media. However, there's one area in which women are almost non-existent, uh, and that is politics. You know, the, the proportion of you know, female representation is still quite low in Turkey and women's issues are always you know, postponed because they're never seen as a priority. So um, let's talk more about political representation. If you look at the manifestos of all the parties competing in this coming election, there are clearly many women candidates standing. And women's issues are undoubtedly being discussed. But do you think when it comes to voting for a woman, it's different? You know, at first glance, it seems like this year, particularly in these elections, the, the number of female candidates have increased. It's true, but it's not enough. You know, when we look at um, the, the population, it's a vast country we're talking about, and, and the problems of women really immense, deeply rooted. I do not see this change enough, and I do not believe that every party has done enough for in increasing female representation. And over the years, especially in the last years, we have had so many conservative male politicians in Turkey, top down, telling Turkish women how many kids we should have, three, preferably five, you know, whether um, C-section is okay or not, telling us even we had the deputy prime minister who said that Turkish women should not laugh out loudly in the public space because it wouldn't be proper. Um, we have had ministers saying that, you know, we, Turkish women should focus on their motherhood. This is their primary career. We have had politicians, top level politicians, saying that they do not believe in gender equality. And I can give you so many examples. So when you hear such statements, one after another, one after another, in a country in which there's already so much domestic violence and so many problems, it doesn't help. It doesn't help to improve women's, women's issues. So I find this attitude very, very problematic. Are you hopeful there will be better political representation of women at the next parliament then? I'm always half pessimistic, half optimistic, I think. What makes me pessimistic is when I look at the structure, you know, um, the political structures, the political mentalities, uh, I, I'm, I find that a bit gloomy. However, I look at the people, you know, I focus on the people, particularly youth, women, subcultures, minorities, you know, the Middle East and Turkey, these are very diverse societies teeming with colors and energy, then I am more hopeful for the future. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>